hi everybody uh, oops my desktop is full of trash isn't it <laughs> oh come on lord okay gotcha. what i'm going to show you about is rewiring recent and the grand tool software with fl studio there are plenty of people out there asking how to do this in fl studio now, i'm sure there may be some explanation in youtube regarding to this tutorial but hey frankly most of them are about rewiring proper head reason uh, so let's get started this is my music project that i used to develop in the future still under construction first thing that uh, that i did was importing rewire channel after that select the brand rewire from the options Next step is to select MIDI out channel so that you can connect your rewire channel. Now we have our grand piano rewire channel and MIDI out channel as well. Now here is the tricky part. Once you click the rewire channel, navigate to MIDI options and select add port 1 which I already added. This is an important part of this tutorial. After that, I open my recent project which is connected with the FL Studio project. But keep this in mind that you must have at least 4 gig memory to connect all these rewired channels in order to run smoothly on your computer. Because I am going to use 8 GB RAM with the Phenom 2x6100 GPU and that's the reason why it gets loaded in a minute. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, here we I use some instrument from reason. Now press tap the new keyboard, it will show you your connections. And don't forget to plug in your connection like this. Previously uh, this wire was in first slot but I changed it to third because we need to use separate audio outputs in FN Studio Mixer because we already used first output for master in uh, master tap me in, uh, channel in FN Studio. So let's listen to the song for a while. Now I'm going to show you the how to select channel number in media. First open your video options. We can see so many channels open in reason but we need to use a finger base for my base channel. So it's in the 8th position. For reason based media out, we have to choose number 8 for channel as can be seen here. 
Vou virar. And uh, I use tricks for channel number 14. You can see here. Let's discuss something off topic. Now I'm going to show you how to record automations in another pattern. As can be seen, I recorded the volume automations for strings. So you can see the movement here in volume. Also, I automated the Eurogate for channel. You can clearly see how it changed as the recording continues along with the song. So how to do that? It's pretty easy. Just select the pattern you want to record and hit record button. Now move the modulation point and voila, it's been recorded. So thanks for watching guys. Next time I will bring some more music gaming tutorial and reviews also so don't hesitate to subscribe and join our fan page in facebook bye bye for now i'm teaching soisa from netmasters Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. I ain't a cop no more. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. Hey, what are you doing? This is Sao Paulo, brother. This was a hell of a hangover. changing and technology will determine the outcome of all future wars armed with the latest military prototypes the ghosts are inserted deep behind enemy lines are
are the tip of the spear on the battlefield of tomorrow. Ghosts are the elite soldiers of the future.